Welcome back YouTube. Thank you for tuning in to another video. If you're new, I'm Sidhu the Barber and we're about to shoot the studio tour. So yeah, let's jump into it. So the first thing you're gonna see when you come down here is the entertainment system. Right now we got the brown boy and weekend running. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing you're gonna see when you come down here is the entertainment system. Right now we got the brown boy and the weekend, some way super sick song. Uh, pretty much on here we run music videos, uh, basketball games. I don't have the PS4 down here right now, but sometimes 2K. Underneath that we got this shelf that holds up some other stuff. Google Home Mini, pretty clutch, haven't set it up yet. This adapter, which is also really cool because when I'm trying to stream NBA games, like big games, when Brooklyn Nets are playing, Harden's dropping 40 point triple doubles, I use this to connect it to the HDMI wire, which connects to my laptop, which gives us the game. Got the TV remote, obviously, control the volume. And then I got some random business cards that people have dropped, which I don't mind. If you're ever here and you wanna drop your business cards, go for it. So in this corner, I got these three shelves. I installed them. Um, I got them from Canadian Tire, I think 20 bucks each or whatever. Ideally, I want to end up selling products on these three shelves. But for now, I got two OGs, two of the greatest men I've ever had the pleasure of knowing. Some outdated business cards, so we're going to flip them around. And uh, whenever I get my beard oil or whatever I decide to be selling, maybe we'll move it around, put the beard oils here and make it more accessible. Not sure yet. We'll figure it out. As most barbers do, I will be offering a facial service. I got my facial steamer, which is pretty self-explanatory. I got the hot towel warmer. I got the Elegance Black Mask, the Babyliss Cordless Face Massager, some microfiber cloths. Shout out to the guys at Empire Barber Supply. They just hooked these up because they knew I was trying to do bigger things. So shout out to those guys. And then obviously I got the towels for the hot towel warmer. This is my barber slash mechanic toolbox, whatever you want to call it. We actually drove out to Red Deer for this to pick it up, me and my buddy, so shout out to him. Anyways, um, I house all my barber equipment in here, but the ones that I use on a haircut to haircut basis, I like to keep them on the top. I got my wall guards from the half guard slash zero guard to the seven guard. Uh, I think the eight guard's probably in here. I got these hair grippers or hair gripper for when I'm trying to do someone's hairline. And then I got my two shave gels or my shave gel and my aftershave, both by Elegance. Uh, these are cool. I think I'm gonna upgrade to the 245 ones next. I got my derby blades, I'm about to run out of this one. My aftershave, this is really cool, man. It's I got the whole bottle over there, but this smells really nice. Burns a little bit, obviously, which is good, but it smells really good. All my clients love it. I got my water bottle. This is dope too, man, because it comes in like a mist spray bottle. So it's really cool. Metallic powder, which is also pretty mando. This soothes the skin and also at the same time, at the end of a haircut, when you're about to dust the client off, apply a little bit of this on the brush and man, it just takes the hair right off. And it smells nice too, obviously. I got my Agiva, Ajiva, however you want to pronounce it, texture powder. I love to use this for crop tops because it just gives us such a nice finishing look. My Topic hair fibers for anybody that requests them. I got my Andis clipper oil. Um, a bunch of companies make clipper oil, so just pick your poison. They say that you should do this before and after every haircut. I highly suggest you not to do that. Realistically, I probably oil my clippers like once every four or five days. Um, depending on how much you're cutting, you should figure it out. If you're a barber, you'll know when your clippers need oiling or lubrication. So just be smart with that. I got this Zay's um, enhancement compressor. This one's really bad. So I highly suggest no one to buy this. Save your money. Um, I don't know, maybe if I messed it up or it just came canned, but it's, it's not good. By the way, on this side, I do have my Babyliss Barbarology Barber Apron. For anyone that cuts hair and doesn't have one already, I highly suggest you should look into it because cutting hair and getting hair on you is super annoying. Super ironic, I know, but definitely saved me a lot of times. Hey, having hair on me. Anyways, moving on, I got my mirror. Shout out to my boys for buying this for me. When I first started cutting hair, I would like to say for the first month, I didn't have one of these, which is crazy because Logically think about it, who cuts hair without a mirror? Like, what? Who does that? But yeah, over here I got my Sanic neck dispenser with Sanic neck strips, obviously. In the beginning, I just used the neck strips out of the box, but over time I came to a conclusion that this is more convenient, easier, and looks more professional. 
It's only like $15. That's Canadian too. So if you live in the States, I think that's like $10. Over here, I got my wall of fame where I just got boxes of my old clippers. I got my chair duster over here. Quick pointer for you new barbers, old barbers, whoever wants to cut hair. Don't use the same duster on a client and on a chair. That's nasty. Please don't do that. I got one of these little brushes that came with one of the clippers to keep them clean. I have like probably like 20 of these. So this is just a random one here. And then I got some wall clipper oil that probably came with the seniors and the magic clips. No idea. Over here on this side of the wall, I got kind of the more essential stuff that you have to have. I got this razor blade disposable case. And then over here, I got my barberside jar with the barberside in it. I got my flat top comb, my wall comb, some no name combs, my shears. Uh, and then out on the wall, I have my YS Park 334 comb. This is like, think of it as the Louis Gucci Burberry designer brand of combs. This was probably like 30 bucks, which is a lot for a comb. You definitely don't need to start with this. Definitely start with one of these no name ones, one, two dollars. And uh, as you get better, upgrade, you know, invest in yourself. So yeah, I grabbed this probably like a month ago. So that just goes to show, I think that was like what, 10 months into cutting. So don't spend the bag before you get the bag. Next up, we got my starting lineup from the point guard to the center, from the playmaker to the rim protector. These are my wall magic clips. Like I mentioned last video, I highly suggest these to anyone that wants to learn how to fade. They're super ergonomic, lightweight, and very easy to flick out. Next, I got the seniors, which are just like the magic clips, but on steroids and heavier and super powerful. I got my two Babyliss Pro FX um, trimmers. I always struggle with that, man, even last video. I got the gold ones and the black ones. Um, these are super zero gap. These are kind of stock. These like for super sharp lines and stuff. These are just for like maybe little kids. Unfortunately, I did drop them, man. I was like not even thinking. I was thinking about the flash, the particle accelerator. And I was just thinking of putting it back. And instead of hooking them on, I just phew, super sad. But luckily, the blade's only like 50, 60 bucks. I say luckily, that's still a lot of money. But it's better than me having to buy a whole new um, trimmer. And then I got the clipper from Babyliss to complete the set. To be honest, I just got kind of hyped up. I was like, wow, the, the, the trimmer and the shaver are so great. This has to be sick. But this is like a flashlight, man. How do you fade with a flashlight? A lot of barbers can. I'm just not too comfortable with it yet. Don't get me wrong. You can knock out a nice fade, but beginners definitely do not buy these. And then I got my blades over here, the Derby premium ones. These are the double-edged ones, so you gotta snap them in half. I usually get the single ones, but I was cutting hair and I was like about to run out and had a long day ahead of me. So I called my bro and I asked him, yo, can you pick some up for me? Uh, it's my bad, I should have told him which ones, but I don't know, I kind of like these. The only thing I don't like is that I have to snap them in half and then it's kind of awkward. If I only use one blade, then I gotta kind of store the other one somewhere safe because I don't want to get cut accidentally. But other than that, these are solid. A random 30 bucks I'm just waiting here probably put that somewhere safe soon and then i got my barber pole uh you don't really need this if you're starting i just wanted it so i got it plus i got this for 50 bucks which is wicked cheap because it goes anywhere from like 200 dollars to a grand i also drove out to red deer for this red deer is just a plug i guess but yeah this is cool on to my lysol wipes i like to use these on my chair before and after every client to disinfect it you should take sanitization and cleanliness very seriously especially during times like this don't spread the pandemic Next to that, I got my Newair ring light bag. Um, I use this whenever I'm going on a house call, not so much during COVID-19. Before that, to be honest, I still didn't like doing them, but uh, if people need it done, we get it done. Next to that, we got two sanitization things. We got the gel, which is for my hands, my client's hands, anyone that wants to just sanitize, which you should. And then I got my barbicide, which is more so for my equipment. Um, the the formula for barbicide is like 10% barbicide, 90% water. If you're really feeling raw, 20% barbicide, but you should never just put a bunch of barbicide in there. You're going to ruin your stuff. Next to that, we got my Babyliss chargers for some clippers trimmers. I don't know why those are there. That's actually bad. I'll organize those later. Next to that, I got my gloves. I am a barber that does use barber gloves. I think it just makes people feel more comfortable. I think it's sanitary, but a lot of people disagree. What I want to say is definitely use gloves or wash your hands after every haircut. And these are disposable gloves. So never use the same ones on two different clients or any number of clients. One pair is for one client. After that, remove them, please and thank you. Next to that, I got my barber headdress. 
which I like to use on my barber chair. Whenever I'm lining up someone's beard or forehead, I got my Versace cape. Um, I want to grab a couple more just because I can now, but you can use any. I started off with like a blue one from Sally's, $9. Yeah, this chair is super dope. Has a little bit of wear and tear, but super comfortable. Clients love it. They're like, I almost fell asleep. I'm like, that's good, man. Enjoy the service. So yeah, I recline them whenever I'm doing the service. You should too. Moving on to the waiting area. I got a few chairs. During COVID-19, it's kind of out of play unless like you're a family, for example, a father and a brother, two brothers, whatever the case may be. It's not too visually appealing. So I definitely want to upgrade to a couch, which will be more comfortable too. But we'll think of that towards the end of the pandemic, hopefully. Um, on this wall, I got this vlog camera big things coming soon we got a vlog coming for you guys next week so stay tuned turn the notification bell on it's gonna be sick next to that i got uh, some more cleaning equipment for my tools the cool care is more so for after every client to like keep the clippers cool and sanitized it's a five in one has a lot of purposes i got the blade care next to that which is super cool this is more so for thorough cleaning maybe once a week i have a video on my tiktok and on my instagram check them out if you want to know how to do that or how barbers do it. Um, for these for these two products, a lot of companies make their own variations. Any of them will work. I just have the Andis ones because I started on Andis, but Wall has one, Oster, Babyliss, et cetera, et cetera. Over here, we have a few things that aren't supposed to be here. iPhone charger, trap phone. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's my barber phone. Um, my phone, got my laptop, my hard drive. Got the goat right here for real. Rest in peace, Kobe, man. I think this is after he won his fifth championship. 24 man RIP and then I got this Dunder Mifflin um, snow globe this is from the office if you know you know if you don't sorry my uh, bro actually bought this for me because he knows I love the office super sick man it's just fun but yeah that's that anyways YouTube that's all we got for today thank you for tuning in I want to give a big shout out to Cam's YYC without him none of this would be possible he literally handles the visuals the audio the editing everything from A to Z lighting everything that makes the video look good so big shout out to him his socials are on the screen and definitely in the description if you're not already give him a follow i also want to give a big shout out to you guys for the support whether that be in the comments or on instagram on snapchat reaching out to me or cams it means a lot we got uh, we got a lot of new content coming next week we got a vlog coming so stay tuned for that leave a like if you like the video a comment share some feedback and share it with your buddies peace